Bank of Uganda today left its monetary policy rate unchanged, 9.5%, as the East African economy grapples with stubborn inflation. Uh, the decisions of the MPC was presented at a press briefing today by the Deputy Governor, uh, Michael Atingiego. Let's listen. The inflation forecasts have been revised up slightly in the short term, that is the 12 month horizon. In light of the relatively stronger exchange rate depreciation in the recent past, but are projected to remain below the medium term target of 5%. Inflation is projected to stay around 3% through the first half of 2024, broadly reflecting stable demand conditions and the global price pressures which are expected to continue to flow through to domestic prices over time. Core inflation is projected to rise to between 4.5% to 5% in financial year 2024 stroke 25 and to remain around 5% in the medium term. Instability in the Middle East is creating new supply chain disruptions and the threats of higher oil prices. In addition, the risk of heightened volatility in the global financial and foreign exchange markets remain, which could reverberate in the domestic foreign exchange market. Indeed, the recent shilling movements against the US dollar are primarily driven by external factors and if sustained, could result in higher inflation despite the easing of global inflation. Furthermore, renewed global supply disruptions could reverse global disinflation and delay the easing of monetary policies in advanced economies, leading to persistent portfolio outflows and exerting more depreciation pressures on the Uganda shilling. Economic growth continues to pick up, in part reflecting the waning drag on growth from the past tight monetary and fiscal policies. The recently released quarterly GDP by the Uganda Bureau of Statistics, UBOS, for the first quarter of financial year 2023 stroke 24, indicates a GDP growth of 5.3%, primarily driven by growth in household expenditure. The high frequency indicators of economic activity for the month of December 2023 suggest continued economic growth recovery in financial year 2023 stroke 24, with growth projected at 6%, similar to the December 2023 projection. Economic growth in the outer years is projected in the range of 6.5% to 7%. Growth will continue to be supported by recovery in external demand, as well as the low inflationary environment, which has boosted a recovery in household real incomes, stimulating consumer spending. In addition, investment expenditures continues to be supported by the strengthening activity in the oil sector. Nonetheless, the growth output remains subject to downside risks stemming from global uncertainties, including slower than expected global and regional growth, a resurgence of supply chain distortions if the geopolitical tensions escalate and broaden, and a tighter fiscal policy, in part due to unfavorable global financial conditions, which could restrict government development expenditures. Furthermore, increasing government financing from the domestic banking sector could result in higher lending rates and crowd out the private sector from the credit market, thereby constraining household consumption and private sector investments. While the economy is evolving largely as projected in the December 2023 round of forecasts, considerable uncertainties remain. Overall, the risk to the outlook for inflation continue to be tilted on the upside. Therefore, the MPC decided 
that keeping the CBR unchanged was necessary to anchor inflation around the medium term target. Consequently, the CPR was maintained at 9.5%. The bands on the CBR at plus stroke minus two percentage points and the margins on the CBR for rediscounts and bank rates at three and four percentage points respectively. As a result, the rediscounts and the bank rates will remain at 12.5% and 13.5% respectively. This monetary policy stance is consistent with the current assessment of inflation and the growth prospects and remains supportive of socio-economic transformation. Bank of Uganda monetary policy decisions will continue to be based on the incoming economic and financial data.